Hey, what's going on? It's Hobart. Welcome back to my channel and hopefully you're doing all right in all this quarantine coronavirus crap and you're still sane. Uh, I'm starting to lose my sanity myself, but hopefully it'll be all over soon. So I've gotten lots of comments on my videos and a few emails asking me to give an update video on how I like the different IEMs that I own. So I figured, well, what the hey, I got a whole bunch of time here. I might as well do some update videos. So today I'm gonna do an update video on the KZZS10 Pros. These guys are my very first set of IEMs that I bought several months ago. I did a few months of research on them. I'm a research guy. I like to research everything before I buy it. I don't want to buy crap. So I did the research and these guys seem to be the most popular. They had good specs. They had a good price. So I went ahead and bought them. You can pick up the KZZ S10 Pros for around $50 a set, depending on where you go. You got several different colors to choose from uh, that fit your personal preference. These here are the black or the smoke color. And you can see they have the stainless steel faceplate on them as well. So these guys right here, they have four BA drivers and one 10 millimeter dynamic driver in them. So you've got two uh, BA drivers for your mids, you've got two BA drivers for your highs, and you've got one 10 millimeter double magnetic second generation 10 millimeter dynamic driver. I know it's a mouthful. Basically, it's supposed to be a more efficient driver and supposed to give you a little bit better sound. So five speakers in here and five speakers in here giving you incredible sound. But let's start off with the fit. How do these guys fit? So if you've never owned a set of IEMs, there stands for in-ear monitors. They go inside your ear. So whoop, put it over your ear, put it over your ear and shove it in. So there you go, that's what they look like. Now, I really like that the KZZS10 Pros don't stick out too far. They have a nice profile to them. Some of the other uh, IEMs out there, for instance, the AudioSense AQ3s, in my opinion, are just a little big. They stick out a little too far. They look like I have these big balls in my ears. I'm trying to go for that low profile look, you know what I mean? So the KZZS10 Pros definitely give you a nice low profile look. Now, they're also very comfortable. They come with silicone ear tips. You can also buy the memory foam ear tips. I kind of switch back between, if I'm gonna be listening for a long period of time, I usually use the foam ones, but when I'm at the radio station, I'm kind of in and out when I do my radio breaks. So I like to use the silicone ones because I don't have to twist the tips and shove them in and hold them. I can just put them in. So silicone tips for easy insertion and removal, foam tips if you're gonna leave them in for a while and be listening to music for a while. But they do come with several different sizes of the silicone tips. Now these are made of a imported resin. So they have an imported resin shell to them that is 3D printed. And depending on the color that you get, you're gonna get either a 6063 aluminum faceplate or you're gonna get a 304 stainless steel faceplate. So that all depends on which color that you get. Now these also come with the new and very popular two pin connector. So the two pin connector is just like the old two pin connector, except for they've added a little bit of plastic onto the end so that those two pins aren't so exposed so that when you go to plug them into your IEMs, you don't have that chance of breaking them. So if you want to take them, you just put the two pins in, boom, it's done. It's that easy. So the new two pin connector is uh, on the KZZS10 Pros and that seems to be the new popular standard that everybody's going to these days. Now the cord that comes with this guy, the brown Linsole KZ cord, has got a lot to be desired. We've all heard the complaints about it. It's horrible. It tangles up like no other. When you pull it out of the box, it's wrapped up and it's still tangled. When you put them down on a table, all nicely, you know? You think you could just pick them right back up like that? No, somehow they've gotten into a rat's nest while sitting on the table. So the KZ brown cable is horrible in my opinion and about a million other people's opinions. So what I did is I upgraded to the gold KZ upgraded cable. And as you can see here, I can put it in a ball and it comes right out. There's no twist, no kinks no nothing. So uh, you're going to want to buy this cable. I'll put the link in the description so you can just go ahead and get it right away. Or if you currently have the dreaded brown cable and you want a better cable, I advise you get something like this. It's not too expensive. I think 10 or 15 bucks and it doesn't tangle. It looks much better. So I definitely say to go this route for sure. 
You can also get a Bluetooth cable if you want to go totally wireless or totally Bluetooth. You want to use it for working out, you want to go running and you don't want to have the cable that's connected to your DAP or your audio player, your cell phone, etc. There is a Bluetooth cable. It does have 576 kilobytes per second. It's a new HD upgraded cable. So you get a little bit better than CD sound with the Bluetooth cable. I'll put a link to that cable in the description as well. It'll work on not only the KZZS10 Pros, but any other IEM that has the new two pin connector. So if you have another set of two pin connector IEMs, you can use these cables, both of these cables, the upgraded gold cable or the Bluetooth cable with any of those IEMs as well. But if you're buying these for the first time, I would suggest if you want to go wireless to just get the Bluetooth cable while you're at it, or if you want to upgrade the cable anyway, to go ahead and buy the gold cable while you're at it. Again, links will be in the description for all of those. Now you also have the option to get a microphone on your cable. It is on the shredded brown KZ cable, but you will get a microphone with a button on there that would allow you to answer calls, hang up calls, and reject calls. You'll also be able to play music, pause music, previous and next track, all with one button on that microphone. Cost you a few extra bucks. It's an option when you're ordering them, so you can order it with or without the mic. If you're gonna be upgrading the cable to a Bluetooth cable or to this gold upgraded cable, it's not worth getting the mic because you're not going to use it anyway. But if you're going to stick with that cable and you want to use it for making calls or for controlling your music while you're working out or on the on a run, uh, definitely want to choose the mic option. And like I said, it's just a couple of more bucks. So let's talk about the sound. How do I like the sound? Well, I'm still pretty impressed with these guys here for sure. Like I said, four balanced armature drivers, one 10 millimeter double magnetic driver is in this guy right here. And I got to say, I've used a lot of over the ear headphones in my days. I've got a few pairs of IEMs now. And after all 20 years of experience, I still think that these guys are worth your money. For 50 bucks, you're getting a really good deal. If you were to buy a professional IEM, custom IEM with four balanced armature drivers in it, Without the dynamic driver, you're talking in the upper hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So to be able to get that technology in here for 50 bucks, yes, it's not as good as the thousand dollar guys, but you're pretty close to it. So uh, the sound is still pretty incredible, even after a few months, even after listening to several different sets of IEMs and the experience I've gotten in the past with over the ear headphones, I would say these are worth it for sure. But let's take a look at the graph and let's see what KZ is saying that these guys sound like. Now, if you look at the left of the graph, you're gonna see the bass and the middle is your midsection. And then on the right is gonna be all of your highs and your treble. Now, I really like the bass. The bass is not overpowering. It's uh, If you're a bass head and you listen to 15s in your car to rap music all the time, these are not gonna be for you. But if you like to hear bass, you like to hear punchiness without it overpowering the rest of the music, these guys are perfect for it. So the bass is there. The mids are a little bit recessed, as you can see in the graph, uh, and the highs are, are wonderful. Very clear, very crisp. Not overpowering, though. I can listen to these guys for about an hour, hour and a half, at, I like to listen to almost 100% volume, and my ears are not tired. They do not get fatigued, where you know, some IEMs you can have, they, the highs are so high that your ears start to hurt after just about 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't happen with the KZZS10 Pros, at least in my opinion. Now, I've also noticed that some IEMs and headphones require more power to give you good sound or good volume. That's something that I just recently learned when I bought the uh, AudioSense AQ3s, because when I got them, I couldn't figure out why I didn't have any volume. I didn't have bass that sounded good. I was plugged into my cell phone and I'm going, what the heck is going on? Well, after a little research, I found out some require more power. When you deal with the professional models or the upper end models, they require more power. They actually have a box that they wear, the musicians wear on them that gives them that power and the Bluetooth connectivity. But if you're looking to be able to just plug these right into your cell phone and listen to music without any extra music players or extra amplifiers, this is going to be your choice. Or the TRN ST1s that I'll be doing an update video on as well. Both of those sound incredible when just plugged into an iPhone or plugged into a, a cell phone. No problem. Something like the AudioSense AQ3 though, you've got to start adding amplifiers and other things to that. So if you're just looking for simplicity, you just want to go running, exercising, or just sit at home and listen to music in your cell phone, this is gonna work for you here. So overall, I think the KZZS10 Pros are a great choice for you if you're looking to get into IEMs for the first time, if you have a lower budget and can't spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on in-ear monitors, and if you just wanna to listen to music at home, or you just wanna get better quality music when you're out doing exercise, running at the gym, etc. So I definitely say for 50 bucks to be able to get the technology that you have inside these, the comfort, the quality, etc., is definitely worth 
your $50 for sure. So I'm going to put a link to the KZZS10 Pros, all the cables, everything in the description. And again, I appreciate you watching my videos as always. Stay safe in all this coronavirus stuff and keep an eye out for my TRN ST1 and my AudioSense AQ3 update videos. Those will be coming shortly. And as always, I appreciate you watching. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, friends, have a great day.